Law enforcement agencies in the Wabash Valley want you to be on the lookout for scammers. And one outreach program spent today showing people what to watch for. Houston's Patsy Kelly talked to experts about what should send up red flags. I've just finished an asphalt job and I've got a little bit of asphalt left over. I, I, I'll fix this little bit of right here and, and I, I'll let it go real cheap because I've got to get it off my truck. If someone calls you up and says, guess what, you've won the lottery, yeah. we just need you to pay taxes or customs fees or whatever it is and they want to wire you some money. Wardlow says scams are one of the top complaints her office gets. She works outreach for the Indiana Attorney General's office. Here are a few tips. You need a name, you need a business card, never do anything without a signed contract and contact information plate numbers to vehicles, plate numbers to trucks, those kind of things are, are always the things that we're looking for. And they're the things that uh, a lot of times homeowners don't realize that they should have. Scammers will try to bully and intimidate you. Kind of held the door open and wasn't letting the homeowner say no and, and close the door. I mean, he was being forceful mm -hmm. uh, about it, very pushy and uh, no. No, those are signs right there. Homeowners start projects in the spring, a prime time for scammers to take advantage. From roofs to driveways, siding and door frames, scammers will offer to repair yours at a discounted rate. But more often than not, these honest looking helpers are actually looking for a handout. My suggestion is to always use a reputable firm, a firm that's been in business for a long time that you know of and they are the most dependable people to have around. I believe that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. If you've heard of this ahead of time, you know, or if you've heard of the kinds of ways that scammers or identity thieves try to get your money or try to get your information, we think that you're a lot less likely to fall for that. In Terre Haute, Patsy Kelly, News 10. If you feel you've been the victim of a scam, contact police. Uh, to learn more about scams going around now, you can look for this story at WTHITV.com.